Hello, welcome to my How to Use Sketchbook Quick Tip series. This is a series where I will show you quick and easy tips that will help you on your journey learning Sketchbook. If you would like a longer, more comprehensive and in-depth look at these same tips, you can follow the link above, which is a longer video of these very same tips. Otherwise, if you don't have a lot of time, these quick tips are for you. Thanks for watching and enjoy! Have you ever had this happen? You've been painting along and you added a really cool effect in one of your layers using a blend mode. And then for the sake of space and you know to make your app run a little bit more efficiently, maybe it's getting slow, you merge a few of your layers and then that blend mode just disappears. The really cool effect you just added is gone. Well, I can show you how to fix that. I don't know why it happens, there are two things you can do to avoid it. This quick tip is about the order in which you merge your layers and why it is important. layers, merging them, and the order you want to merge them when you have different blend modes. Let's say you were trying to do um, an effect along the side here of light, just kind of like a rim light around her, her hood here, or in the, especially in the hair, let's say you were kind of putting that in there and then blending it a bit. That makes it more translucent. But then let's say you decided, okay, this, this one is gone, this pe peach one is not being used right now, and we'll leave the purple one on here. Now let's say you decide, and you're not going to merge the whole thing, but you're trying to minimize your layers because of, you know, you need just for space. One thing you cannot do is merge a glow layer or really any of the blending mode layers. Overlay should always be the last one and soft glow should be the last one if you can even do it. Sometimes I cannot blend any of my soft glow layers until I'm doing merge all. Then it then it's fine because it also uses this background color. But if I just went now and said merge with the next one, you see how it changes? That's the main reason for having these flats, is if you're using blend modes, they just don't look right. But you lose that light effect when you do it with the soft glow. So it's mainly, see how it changes? You don't have it, it doesn't, it doesn't stay as bright. And you need to have, it doesn't even work if you have this background one in there, I found out. It acts like that one doesn't exist. Even though you're seeing it right now, I, I noticed the last time I was doing something like this, I still had to come in here, put, even though I had the color I wanted in the background, I still had to come in here, create it, add a layer, and put it in there with the paint bucket. I still have to wait with the soft glow layers to do merge, but if I merge all, it'll be fine. I have, I, in fact, I can show you right now at this point, this image has a white background, except for this blue area, but that I just painted in. But the white is the white background that I used. When I merged all and just left it that background, and just left it white, the bright highlights around the um, tree here, the, the cherry tree, the cherry blossoms, they turned just orange or whatever color I had used. They lost their brightness because this white background wasn't really a background until I used the paint bucket and added a layer of a white background behind it. So that's just very important to um, remember when you're using 
specifically the soft glow blend mode. Now I might do it with other blend modes too, but soft glow I use a lot and I noticed it's kind of finicky that way. That was a how to use Autodesk sketchbook quick tip. Be sure to like and subscribe for more as I will have more to come. Thanks for watching and stay creative.